Hey guys, you probably read the title of this video and yes, we have finally arrived at the end of the series, the Ionic 3 chat type series. And in the past 16 episodes and uh, I think a couple of episodes had two videos, I mean two parts. So in the past 18 videos I have plus one introductory video, in the past 19 plus this ending video, in the past 20 videos uh, I think I have given you fairly, uh, I mean roughly a fair idea sorry i was about to say fairly rough idea fair, roughly a fair idea about is it fairly a rough idea about is correct right anyway I, I think i gave you an idea on how to build how to start building your own applications once you learn the basics of ionic uh, and firebase and uh, yeah guys there were a lot of questions regarding this series that were unanswered i am sorry if i didn't answer your question i was probably busy making my next video in the series uh the most common question i received was uh, there is a bug here or there is a bug there uh, i found a bug here the uh, name appears twice or something like that yeah guys it's true there are several bugs in this code there is uh, no two ways about that uh the thing is uh, this entire series is targeted towards the absolute beginner that is the person who has uh, learned the basics of ionic 2 either from the internet or by uh, purchasing a course or something and then he doesn't know how where to proceed from there uh, there are several guys like that right this course is targeted towards those guys on helping them to move to the next step that is to write applications using the knowledge they have learnt uh, so yeah the bugs the coding standard the uh, indentation the camel casing and all that is there i'm not saying uh, that it's not a mistake but still uh, this course course was aimed to give you an overall idea on how to you know build an application from the ground up and i think uh, i think i fairly did a good job based on the based on the comments that uh, that i have been uh, receiving over this entire course of two months i guess so yeah guys thank you thank you for all those so thank you for all those who supported me on patreon as well as uh, sent me all those inspirational comments and appreciative comments and all that and added stars to my github repo Thank you guys, uh, yeah, and uh, what else, what other questions did I receive? Ah, yeah, the other question that I received was, why am I writing, this was from people who actually knew Ionic, uh, I mean, knew Firebase and uh, JavaScript. Why am I writing, uh, showing the roundabout way of doing things? Yeah, that is true, guys. The methods, the coding I have showed in this entire series is like the most uh, basic way of writing the application that is i'm using the firebase sdk itself directly and then writing this entire application uh, trust me when i say this you might not believe if you use angular fire library and uh, if you use angular fire library and observables this entire series the code i have written right it can be uh, pretty much cut in half guys uh, the code the, the lines of code will be reduced so much if we just use angular fire and angular fire library for uh, interacting with the uh, firebase and uh, observables to handle uh, data across your uh, in your front end application so uh, maybe uh, in a, in the next version of this series or something i'll show you uh, that that's a bit more advanced level it's like the level 2 it's the next progression uh, consider like that okay so yeah guys if you want to uh, improve on this kindly look into that aspect as well so that uh, you'll get a better idea of how they can be used effectively in your application uh, to make your life much easier that's the main point uh, yeah guys that's that was one thing that i uh, noticed and what else did i yeah that's that these two are the most common questions that i received the entire code is in github many people have been asking me for the github link as well uh, i'll post the link or i'll post uh, i'll post the link of the entire repo in my uh, in this video's description kindly leave a star uh, if you found it helpful uh, and also follow me on twitter or any other social media as usual what next you might ask what next right i have uh, planned a few short videos on different stuff guys like uh, for example many people were asking me uh, to do a video on ionic uh, and uh, leaflet maps so yeah i'll do a video on that and then many people were uh, asking me for the update on uh, angular 2 firebase apps i mean not angular 2 Firebase. So what am i saying angular 2 desktop app so i might be make a video on that as well and uh, regarding the desktop app series the angular 2 plus electron desktop app series i am still writing that app honestly 
uh, once that is done i'll uh, start with that series as well so yeah guys thanks to my patrons especially uh, great thanks to you guys uh, you have been contributing me uh, contributing to me over these past four months i guess july got my first patron no not really i owe this four months okay uh, who cares uh, yeah thanks to all those guys thank you very much uh, and thanks to all those who shared this content as well across different social media yeah guys i'll make more videos i'll talk to you guys in my next videos that's it i guess bye